Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, my name is Marcus and uh, you are now watching my new YouTube channel, Notched to 11. Um, I really appreciate you coming along and hopefully uh, you'll get an opportunity to watch lots of interesting and engaging videos on this wonderful hobby of ours, uh, but also find out uh, a little bit more about the history that lies beneath us uh, in my uh, local area, which is North Essex uh, in England, in the UK. Uh, as I said, my name is Marcus. I have uh, been metal detecting now for just about six months. We're in February 2021 right now. Uh, we're just about to come out of our latest uh, lockdown, which I'll come back to at the end. Um, I'm, I've been very lucky in the short period of time that uh, I've been detecting. I started with a Garrett Ace 250, uh, quickly moved on to a Simplex, uh, which is just there. Um, and that provides me with lots of great opportunities to uh, dig up and unearth uh, lots of buried and wonderful history. Um, I've managed to obtain a permission uh, quite close to me, but not quite walking distance, unfortunately. Um, so these uh, most recent um, release of, of lockdown, uh, whilst fantastic for, for most detectorists who can walk to their place of, of digging, uh, unfortunately, mine's a little bit further away. So just waiting to get some clarity on the rules as to whether I can get in the car or not. But I think not. So we have to be sensible and um, and, and play the game, so to speak. Um, I've also been to the beach a couple of times. The beach is about 20, 25 minutes from where I live. Again, not allowed to do that quite yet, um, but ultimately it's provided some great opportunity to learn uh, and ply my trade and my hobby. Um, before, I, well, I thought I would show you for my very first video um, some of my finds that I found in the first six months. Not a huge amount compared to others, um, but some really interesting and a couple of, of real uh, beauties in my opinion that hopefully you'll enjoy and I'll show you those in a second uh, but before that I thought I'd just spend a couple of minutes just um, with a few brief shout outs to to say thank you to the guys that not only inspired me to pick up um, the metal detector in the first place but actually uh, encouraged me to um, get on and actually start putting some videos um, on so so without further ado firstly um, as a simplex owner um, I wanted to thank Laurie at the Simplex Guru. She has been absolutely inspirational um, with her videos. Uh, if you are a Simplex owner, or even if you're just getting into metal detecting and want to find out the tricks of the trade, Laurie's a fantastic place to start. She provides lots of really great education, um, support, guidance, and inspiration to actually pick it up and actually get going. So um, yeah, uh, visit, and, and so if you haven't already done, subscribe to the Simplex Guru. Um, also, the, the, the chap that probably got me going uh, for, for this hobby in the first place uh, when I found his videos uh, was Adam um, at DTEC Sussex. Uh, not only does he provide fantastic videos and education and, and support, um, he's a whiz with the technology side of things. So uh, really interesting and, and fun uh, videos to watch. And, and he was the one, I guess, that made me think, right, let's do it. Let's, let's go out and actually get, get this done. Um, in conjunction with Adam, um, he's friends with a guy called Aaron at South, um, South Coast Detecting. Um, Aaron and his videos, again, he's been doing it a lot longer than, than some of us, uh, but actually um, has some fantastic stuff that he, that he brings up. And again, that helped me. And then the last three, uh, then I'll move on. Uh, shut up, Marcus, you're waffling. Um, Lee at London Road Searcher. Uh, so he's been detecting for a long time, but only fairly recently started doing YouTube videos. Uh, a fellow Simplex owner. Um, uh, and a fantastic guy. So if you haven't already subscribed to Lee uh, at the London Road Searcher, make sure you do that. Um, Nathaniel's Outdoor Adventures, another great guy based over in Switzerland, very much keeping me sane through all these lockdowns, all these regular videos uh, and 10 whole challenges that he puts up. So again, make sure you stop by his channel. Uh, and then lastly, Jamie and Rachel, uh, Treasure Rangers, Saving History. Uh, I'm sure you'll know those. These are, these are well known throughout the community. A couple of lovely people, really fun uh, and again, engaging videos uh, that really brings our hobby to life. So, so make sure you stop by all of those. And of course, if you like what you see today and what you'll continue to see, please make sure that you subscribe. Please make sure you click on the bell uh, and stop by from time to time and, and see some of the finds uh, I hopefully make. Um, so that's it for me for now. As I say, the lockdown is um, has released us uh, to some degree in England, um, albeit that we still have to be careful. Uh, we still have to ensure, as far as I'm aware, uh, that we stay within our local community when we're doing it. 
um, and we either walk or cycle ideally to, to where we go. Uh, my permission is just over five miles away. Um, I have asthma and it's cold and wet, uh, so I won't be getting on my bike anytime soon, unfortunately. Uh, and with the kit and the distance, it's unfortunately just too far to walk. So no videos of, of me digging quite yet, um, but hopefully within the next two or three weeks, uh, things will change and things will get better. Uh, until then, obviously stay safe and healthy. Okay, well, what a, this pretty much is the um, is the sum total of what I've discovered uh, in the first six months. Bearing in mind, of course, that we've been locked down a couple of times really since um, since I started. Albeit that I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously thrilled with with some of the stuff. There's not everything's here. Obviously, I found a lot of um, junk. Um, stuff that's um, gone straight in the bin, um, lots of other bits and bobs. Uh, the, the permission that I have um, close to me is um, uh, it's got lots of lots of activity on which I'll come on to. Um, but uh, we also have, as a result, um, lots of fragments of lead and various things, which is which is obviously very encouraging because it shows that there's been uh, settlement potentially, but also um, lots of movement throughout the ages. So. Uh, so that's great. Um, I've also found, as you all do, blooming tons of buttons that drive me insane, thinking that they're wonderful coins, <laughs> but but fabulous nonetheless. Most of which have been blank or or completely toasted. So th this tray, this this meagre tray, effectively uh, represents what I've got so far. So I thought I'd just talk you through some of them. Um, as you can see there, obviously a, a few bullets. Uh, of of no particular description, um, lots of those, uh, most of which, uh, and of course, um, shotty cases as well, which um, all tend to go in the in the recycling or, or the bin. Um, I'm a big fan of pottery. I used to do a bit of um, buying and selling of pottery, believe it or not. Um, so I, I try and pick up any interesting finds. Um, I found a few bits, but I didn't want to bore you with those today. Um, some of the, the the lesser finds, I guess. Um, uh, this. Um, obviously brass or, or copper ring. Uh, originally I thought perhaps I was in luck and I'd found some sort of brooch, but I think it's probably just horse, um, horse tackle or, or whatever. Um, what else have I found? Uh, again, an, a, a screw of nothingness, I think. Originally I thought perhaps this might be, um, hopefully you can see that, uh, might be quite important with the patina on it, but actually uh, once it cleaned up, it, it became clear it's actually quite modern. Um, a, a blank, Dog tag or, or some sort of pendant, uh, again, once cleaner. I kind of want to say that there's a bust there um, from a, maybe an old coin that's been turned into a uh, in a, pen, uh, to a pendant of some description. Oh, excuse me. Uh, but um, but unlikely to ever know what, what that was. Um, interestingly, and again, I don't know if you guys can help me with this, but um, I find lots of these, lots of square nails uh, with some really good patina on them um which which i love um believe it or not i, I just don't know how old are i, I bet they I, I presume that they're very hard to uh, to date but they feel they feel old just by the nature of their patina um a couple of bigger i find quite a few of these as well sorry uh, the the bigger squarer ones again you know look like they've got some age to it but not sure um this one here uh, I'm told is is something to do with boat building. Uh, my permission is as a crow flies, probably about half a mile from a pretty pretty wide river uh, in Essex. So I can only presume there was a bit of boat building going on in in my fields uh, at some point. I found I found a few of these now. And again, if anyone can give me an idea on age, um, that would be be really appreciated. I found the FA Cup. <laughs> would you believe? Yes, I did. I found the FA Cup. Hopefully you can see that. Um, that is uh, not on my permission, not on the beach, but actually found in my garden. Uh, so I've had to do a fair bit of digging in my garden over lockdowns. Nothing to write home about other than that. Um, the, the handle broke off as I took it, or one of the handles broke off as I took it out of the, uh, out of the ground. But I'm, I'm actually thrilled with that. I don't know uh, how old that is and what it came off. I can't find anything online to suggest what it, I presume it may have been off. Possibly a toy or, or possibly a, a food packaging or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, what else we found? A, a, a toasted thimble. I really like thimbles, and I'm hoping to find um, some more of them. Obviously, in hopefully slightly better condition this, than this one. Uh, that was one of my early finds on my permission, and I, I'm, I love that. 
Um, moving on, uh, lots of different buttons as I've said already, but just to pick out a couple really more than anything else. Um, this one here uh, is a, uh, I'm told a, a Royal Navy button, um, probably Victorian because of the crown, um, largely toasted. Hopefully that's gonna focus for me. Um, largely toasted, unfortunately. Um, but again, you know, with a bit of light, so we can just focus on that a bit more. Mm, no, some writing on it, which I, I can't seem to find online, but again, you might be able to help me with that one. Various other buttons. This one I, I particularly like, very small uh, with the number 72 on it. Uh, not quite my birth year, but not far off. Um, again, not, not a lot to it. Not been able to locate where that comes from or what that might mean. So again, any any comments greatly appreciated. Um, another couple just, just before I move on. Uh, this one here, uh, made by a company called Smith & Wright in Birmingham. Uh, again, my investigations lead me to believe perhaps um, it was something to do with a military button, but I, again, uh, might be wrong, but unfortunately the, the good bit is, is no longer there, but, but interesting nonetheless. Few bed, uh, few lead bits on my, on my travels. Um, this is the only um, bullet that I've found so far. Uh, at least I think it's a bullet that's been kind of impacted when it's hit something. Uh, I, like, I love that. First and only lead seal as well. Uh, again, a little bit of detail on it. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but uh, not quite sure for what it's sealed. Um, but again, really love that the, the lead finds and hoping to find much more of those. A uh, little lead weight, uh, again, of no particular um, age, I don't think. Well, obviously it's of age, but I don't know when. Um, I know the lead finds are very, very hard to, to date unless they've got lots of detail on them. And, and, and thrilled with my spindle wall. Um, I really hope that I find lots of these. And, and again, encouraging all this, all these lead bits have come from my permission uh, in a relatively close area. So I'm, I'm hoping to find lots more there. Um, I found a toasted farthing. I shan't bore you with that one. Uh, a couple of pennies. Uh, sorry, just zone in there. Um, lost the focus. It will get better in time, I promise. There we go. Uh, so a couple of couple of pennies. I found a, a toasted farthing, which I won't bore you with. Uh, and the two finds, my two absolute treasures so far, uh, one of my very first finds. Um, was it with the Simplex? I think it was with the Simplex. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we are. Uh, it's getting the right way around. So that is, I'm told, uh, in fact, I told, I, I know, um, is a bronze unit. Um, it's Celtic. It's from uh, a king of our area called Dublo Dubnovalanus. Say that right, Marcus, put your teeth in. Um, it, it dates from about 10 BC to 5 uh, AD, uh, as far as I'm aware. Um, it's absolutely beautiful condition, considering that it's bronze and it's age. Hopefully you can see that lovely Celtic horse on the back. There's some, um, some debate about whether it's actually a horse or something completely different, but... Uh, or a hare, but I, I I'm told it's a it's a horse, and I uh, and I absolutely love it. So so I'm thrilled with that. And that that although it doesn't didn't need to be, I took the liberty of registering that with the flow uh, because I just think it's I'm told it's very very rare, so of of some significance. So I wanted to make sure that I I did that properly. And then last but by no means least, and what a lucky beginner I am. That's probably I probably dried all my beginner's luck up now. Um, a, a battered but totally wonderful nonetheless. Uh, medieval gold ring, um, possibly a bishop's ring, I'm told. Um, the stone long gone, sadly. Uh, the plough put pay to the actual ring itself, as you can see, but um, but lovely. And again, reported with the flow, but but not gone anywhere yet. Unfortunately, our our local flow has, has left her role. So uh, with a bit of luck, um, some movement will happen on that fairly soon. So so that's it, really. Um, all in all, that that are, they are the sum total of my finds and um, over the last. Uh, six months on and off. Uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed doing it. Um, I'm absolutely itching, as you can probably tell from my voice, uh, to get back out there again. I um, hope that's been useful. I hope that's been interesting. Uh, and as I say, uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Completely forgot um, a couple of other finds. So I, just as I was putting my stuff away, I, I realised I didn't mention them. So I, I thought I'd just spend another 30 seconds showing you uh, what's left. <laughs> Um, this one I love. It's a livery button, um, I'm told. Well, I say I'm told, I know again. Uh, the reason it's a livery button, or we can identify it as a livery button, is this um, kind of rope uh, that runs along the bottom. Uh, obviously, it's a, it's a, it's a male half-figure, 
uh, with arms out to the side holding something by the looks of it and then there appears to be a crown on the top so um, it's cleaned up reasonably well because it was a lot worse than this when I found it but I think that's about as good as it's going to get and it, it I think it may have been a as you can probably see from the when I turn it may have had some gold gilding on it at some point so um so yeah re really happy with that one and then the other one I, I neglected to mention which for most people would probably just go straight in the bin but um I, I love I love it even though I'm not absolutely sure what it is um very very thin as you can see um it came uh, relatively close actually to where I found the the Celtic coin but I, I think uh, and I'm sure you'll be able to tell me if I'm wrong um is it's a it's just a right it's a Roman groat of some description it, it's um quite big actually as you can see from my fingers I've not got the biggest fingers but uh, I think there's a there's a bust on there somewhere um but very very hard to, to to say and I think there's a figure on there in the middle there somewhere but again very very difficult to actually say so I'm 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 calling it a Roman unless I'm told any different that's the way I'm going with it um, and there's nothing you can do, but no, obviously you can't um, tell me if you, if you think I'm wrong, but, um, I think that's what it is. Um, yeah, and, and that's it. So thanks again and take care and I'll hopefully see you soon.